Hi, this is Janie from Janie's Journals, and I appreciate you joining me. I'm working on part three of my nature journal. I've got all of my pages together now, and I did go through and do some tea staining on them because I, I really want that um, nature look, I guess, or to make it look like the pages have been sitting in the weather for a while. So I've got that going. I wanted to show you what I have found at Hobby Lobby the other day. I wasn't even really looking for anything, but I went through their material section and this was in the remnants. There's probably one yard of it, I guess, but isn't it just gorgeous? I'm kind of torn now because I had planned on using these as my um, journal covers for the nature journal. But then when I saw this material, I love it too. And I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do. I also found another bundle of um, the ribbons that they have. This was, I think, $4.99 for this bunch of ribbons and they match this this cloth so well. I mean, they look perfect with it. So anyway, I'm going to have to decide. I'll, I'll probably stick with this because everything else that I'm putting in my journal, I want it to look organic and, you know, look like I just walked through the woods and picked things up. So we'll see. But, like I said, I appreciate you joining me today, and we will start working on those pages. So this is the one I'm going to work on now, and um, most everything that I do is going to be self-explanatory. I'm going to speed the video up. I will show you products as I use them, and um, I think that camera's at a good height to be able to see what I'm doing, so you can just follow along.
Okay, so on to the next page. And I bought these eco prints off of um, Etsy. And there's one in here, this one right here, that is just beautiful. And I wanted to use this, but I mean, it would take up the entire page. So I contacted the lady that I bought these from and asked if I could um, resize these and then photocopy them for my junk journal. And she said, absolutely. I'll flip through these real quick and just show you some of the work that she did. It's just beautiful. And the front and back are both done. And that's why I wanted to photocopy this one as well. The front I love, but I also like the back. <laughs> so I, I wanted to use both sides. I will leave her information down below. There's those, aren't those pretty? And I love this one. I'm actually thinking about trying something like this with either paint splatters or tea splatters and then drawing around the leaves, kind of like I did with these because when I put these flowers on here, they didn't show up real well. So I just took that black marker that I showed and just traced around everything and it made all the difference. So anyway, I have shrunk that down and that's the size I have. It is two and three quarters by about three and three quarters. So I'm going to cut this out and I'm going to use this on a page now. And you can come along. I've got all of my papers in a bucket down here on the floor beside me, but I wanted to show you this. These are um, just odds and ends of mixed media papers that I made. Um, this one I used on my fairy journal. I think I'm going to keep that out. I did some practice jelly prints and things like that. So I just keep that stuff in this bag. Here's my attempt at eco dyeing. Whoops, not that one. Not the best, but I don't want to get rid of it either because it could be good. You know, it would look actually pretty cool for a background in this nature journal that I'm making. So if you see me kind of um, go off frame for a few minutes, chances are that's what I'm doing. I'm digging in all of this to see what I can come up with to use on the page that I'm currently working on. So I like the composition of this. I like how it all fits together. Um, it needs something else though. And I'm thinking that I may find a nature quote or something to go down here. Let me see what I can come up with. So I changed it up a little bit. I made the this back piece, the um, gift bag, I made it a little bit longer. And I found some nature quotes on Google. 
and I just printed them on a piece of uh, coffee dyed paper. And I'm going to choose one of these, and I think I'm going to put it on the bottom here. And I may tear off a little bit of this and put it either down here or on this side to kind of try to balance that out. So we'll see what happens. So here's what I have, and the quote I chose says, In nature, nothing is perfect, and everything is perfect. Trees can be contorted, bent in weird ways, and they're still beautiful. Alice Walker. The reason why I have not put it down is because I still need to decide if I'm going to make this a top pocket, or a side pocket, or a tuck. So I'm just going to pin it in the journal or on the journal page the way it is and put this with it too because obviously this is going to go down after everything else is down. And there is that page. Pretty well done. My process is I'll go through and I'll do these kind of things. And like with this, I know that this needs something else here. But I do the basic part of the page, and then I go back through whenever I do embellishments, and I do tabs and things like that, and just kind of add more layers to it. So that is today's video. I appreciate you guys um, watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.